investor group has made a $5.8 billion offer to buy Macy's. According to the Wall Street Journal, Arc House Management, a real estate-focused investing firm, and Brigade Capital Management, a global asset manager, on December 1st, submitted a proposal to acquire the Macy's stock they don't already own for $21 a share. That represented a roughly 32% premium to where shares closed the day before the offer was made. The investor group, which believes Macy's is undervalued in the public markets, has indicated that it would be willing to raise its offer subject to due diligence, and an investment bank has provided a letter supporting the group's ability to raise the necessary financing to get a deal across the finish line. Chris, Macy's. Yeah. Oh, boy. Will it stay or will it go? Yeah, you know, I thought really long and hard over the course of the last 24 hours about what to say about this that, you know, hasn't been said already or isn't pithy. And, and the reference point that kept coming back in my head, Anne, was Kohl's. Hmm. You know, okay. I think it's important because if you look back last year, and I looked this up, you know, according to the Wall Street Journal, same, same provider of the headline that we referenced today, um, last February, Kohl's had an offer on the table to be bought out for $8 billion. And Kohl's market cap as of yesterday was three point, no, sorry, for $9 billion. I said that wrong, $9 billion, Ann. Okay. And so Kohl's market cap as of yesterday was $3.2 billion because I remembered it was oh. basically three times the current value. Unbelievable, so I, yeah. Yeah, so I think when you sit back and you look at it that way, you have to ask, and we've talked about how there's seemingly a growing dumpster fire brewing at Kohl's already. There's lots of people claiming that, you know, you got to look out for that stock. Um, and we are not financial advisors in any way, shape or form. So do not take this as advice, but I think you're getting to the point, you know, where you have to ask for yourself for Kohl's and then we'll go back to Macy's like, and do you, do you honestly see a strategic path where Kohl's is worth three times what it is now? I can't, I mean, I, not with any of the initiatives that are currently in play, maybe Sephora, but then I think that you're really banking on that one retail pop up that's going to save it. And I don't think that's enough. Yeah. And I, yeah, hundred percent agree. And I, I don't, I don't quite frankly either. So I, and I, and when I say that, I say that because I worry the same thing could be said about Macy's. And so as much as it tears on my heartstrings to lose great retailers like Sears in the past, I think honestly, it may be the best move for the shareholders to just cash out now, especially if there's more money to be had like this on the table, as is alluded to in the article, the offer is intentionally low and let natural selection run its course. I mean, nostalgia just doesn't work over the long term in business it doesn't isn't enough to supply what needs to be supplied to keep a business going and i think this is just getting the fact of it's just business now at this point and that's how i'm looking at it yeah i think the coles uh comparison is a really good one chris i'm glad you brought that up i think you know the only thing that i i would add here is that it seems like you're saying, like it or not, Macy's, you're probably more valuable as a real estate play. And I'd say the same thing is maybe true for Kohl's at this point. Um, and I think one of the things that came to me as I was, I was I'm reading this story and thinking about the real estate angle too, is that there might be a lot of interest from the mall owners who have Macy's as an anchor tenant now, if this does start to get sold for real estate parts, because I mean, in several cities where Macy's is present, Macy's owns that box on a mall. And I think if you let Macy's become up for sale and these mall owners across the country of, especially some of the failing malls, if they're able to take that asset on or sell that asset, and now they can do something different to serve their communities with that property. I think there could be a lot of interest there that some of these real estate investors who are trying to gain share of Macy's or take back Macy's are probably thinking about. Yeah. The other point I bring up if I was critical of, of, of our own points too, would be, I think the sum of Macy's parts is greater than the whole too. I think, I think if you took Bloomingdale's aside from Macy's, I think you could find some value there. We've talked about the Bloomingdale's right. idea and rolling that out nationally. I think there is some real growth potential there. So I think that's something you have to factor into this discussion, which is different than the Coles analogy that I drew up beforehand. So, um, you know, I think there, there's different ways to look at this, but I think you have to have the honest discussion with yourself as a shareholder to say, like, do I need to take this offer seriously? Right, right. Absolutely.